All right, so now that we have a repo set up, uh, in our particular case, we created a GitHub repo to save all of our files and to check out our very simple um, GitHub pages so we can show our HTML, stuff like that. Um, one thing is GitHub is a static, it only shows static pages. So if you want to do any sort of server-side stuff, which is more dynamic, like PHP or whatever, you need to have it hosted on a website. So um, in, pre in other videos, I show 00 web host. I think it'd be great to show you another one, which I like, which is Infinity Free. So I'm going to pause the video and open that up now. So here we are, Infinity Free, and I really like this service. Um, they don't give you a ton of ad junk. Um, it's a great way to host your website for your portfolio. It supports JavaScript, PHP, all that good stuff. Um, so go ahead and click on the register link. For me, it took me right inside, but it's a pretty easy process. If you register for other sites, you can register for this. Um, after you're done, you can create a new account here. So um, I made one where if you click the Create Account button here, you create a domain name. I named mine Exo Portfolio. And then you search domains. And once it's approved, uh, you can enter any additional information and you hit Done. And um, once that's done, if you go to your home section here, you'll see that it takes you to your essentially your account. Now I'm going to click on Manage here. And I like to use Visual Studio Code for everything. Now right off the, the plank, you can see it gives you your FTP username. Here's the password. You're, you're going to be using that to FTP in a second to inside of Visual Studio Code. Here's your host and the port and all that stuff. If you need to see a more detailed uh, explanation of all that stuff, if you click on Control Panel here, it'll take you directly into where you'll create a database, which we'll do in another video, and we'll connect to it through Visual Studio. Um, as we're passing in files, you'll see, um, which is really beautiful, disk space free unlimited, which I love to see. I'm kind of a hoarder. Account details. Here's my main domain, uh, my FTP host name, all this good stuff here for my FTP. We're going to be using some of this in a second. Um, if you click on more account settings, it'll take you there and show you all this other good stuff. Um, so I did create a database. Um, I'm going to probably delete this one and when we build ours from scratch. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump back into Visual Studio Code. So here we are back in Visual Studio Code, and we're going to install a simple FTP. So click on, excuse me, I had to clean my throat. These are the extensions. You can say I have a Java extension in here for my Java videos. So I'm just going to type in FTP, and you can see the first one that pops up is simple FTP, and I'm going to click install. This is the guy right here that we want. Directly open, edit, and save on server files. Installing installed, which looks good. Um, all this stuff is great give you the command lines and all that good stuff. So let's go back to our Explorer here for a second. Um, I'm going to close this and um, let's take a look at how we can connect to our FTP. So the first thing we want to do is press F1 on the keyboard and just type in FTP and what you're looking for is FTP simple configuration so we can set up our connection to our um, Infinity server. And you can see here it's asking for the name of our host, the port, our username, and password. So let's go ahead and enter all that information in. So just as a rehash to show you where you can get that from, let's jump back over to our other site, the Infinity Free site. Now do you remember how we went to we had our home section here on our panel here? If you click on the account section, now Remember, you have to create or manage in a site. Remember how we created a username? So for example, mine is Excel Portfolio. So I can actually send this link to people and say, hey, look, this is my site. And it's going to come up with some junk screen, probably some appeasy screen. Yeah, like this. Um, and that's OK, you know, like because we don't have anything. But so we want to make sure that we spruce that up and add all of our cool stuff. So my FTP username is, I'm going to double click that, copy that. And actually to make our lives easier, I'm going to pause the video and do a double. All right, if you're not used to this, what you can do is hold the Windows key down and then push the left or right arrow key and it'll snap these panes to something else. So you can set up the same stuff. So my username is here. So here's the uh, username here. I'm just going to paste it inside of this. Um, maybe we should start with the top. So for the name here, it can be anything you like. Mine is just infinity free 
web portfolio. The host here, you see it says FTP host name. I'm going to copy this in and paste it here. The port name is usually around 21, so that's why I had auto filled that. The type is FTP. Um, my password, I'm going to really just show hide this and copy and paste that in a second. So um, we want auto save on, so it's constantly saving our site as we're uploading it to the website in our personal files. And then I want to turn off for confirm to false here. The reason for that is it's going to give you a pop-up box every single time you go to save it, asking if you want to confirm that. I get really annoyed by that, and I know where Control and Z is to undo my last action, so I don't necessarily need to be you know, constantly reminded if I made the right decisions in life. I have my parents for that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control S to save that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, pop in my password, and then I'm going to close this because it's going to delete the file anyway and just save off this temporary JSON, and then I'm going to show you how to connect. And just really quickly, remember, our FTP password is here that I'm going to paste inside of here. All right, so let's go up to Terminal and create a new terminal. And down here where it says PowerShell, um, let's make sure that we have, let's see, Debug Console, Problems, Output. Oh, there we go. Under Output, we want to go to FTP Simple. So press F1 again, Remote Directory. I'm sorry, FTP Simple. And then we want this Remote Directory open to Workspace. And then it has Infinity Free Web Portfolio. I'm going to click on that. And then it says Current Directory slash HT Docs directory, date, all that good stuff. Um, and so it shows you essentially um, when I created the, I first signed up for the account and did all that stuff, which was yesterday. So I'm going to select that. And it says down here, FTP open, Infinity Wars free web portfolio, FTP connected, open. So now I have that, and then it's a CD HTC docs. I can go to parent, parent directory, I can go to current directory. So you might be like, well, what the hell is HTC Docs? Now it's refreshing. Let me pause the video and show you what that is. Uh, um, and you can see it's connecting. It refreshed my interface here. And then you see there's an intip.dex2.html. If I click this, it's an empty. Um, the initial one, the one was empty. The two is all of this information here. Um, and I'll, let me kind of get into a second where it says your website is ready, infinity free. Like where, where the heck is all of this stuff coming from? So hold on one second. Let me pause the video and go back to my infinity free website. All right, so here we are back in our infinity free. And if I go to the file manager, notice that we have this folder called HTC docs and then HT access. And so inside of here is where we're actually sitting with all of our files. So if we go in here, you see HT docs, and just like inside of our repository here, we are actually in that HT, I'm sorry, not repository, but our FTP, we are in that HT docs folder. And if I make a new file just called index.html, and I hit enter, you can see Infinity Free Web Portfolio FTP reopen. And if I save this, it says, do you want to save, uh, upload an empty file? This is more about the, um, I might be making a mer an error here, and I'm just going to hit OK, and I don't care. So let's go back to our file manager. And I'm going to refresh this. And you can see now I have an index.html. And when I click on this and I go to um, edit here, you can see I can actually, inside of this, I can look at all the, the data information. I can edit it, or I could edit it in my browser. So if I go back, Come on. Let's just go back in our file manager here. You can see now we've con we've completely FTP'd up to this folder and we can use Visual Studio Code. I think this video is getting a little longer. I think in the next video, what I'm going to do is um, we'll just start coding. We'll create all of our cool stuff, our folders, and I'll show you that even in this HT Docs folder that we have here. Well, let me just show you that really quick. Check this out. If I make a new folder here, 
and I just call this like PHP and I just kind of save this out by hitting control S I'm gonna hit OK hopefully that false took because I don't want that to keep popping up where I'm always reminded of stuff I click on HT Docs. let's refresh that for a second you can see now we have a PHP folder so now we have full control we're saving stuff on our GitHub repository, so that looks great for potential employers. And now we have a live FTP that we can work in.